hello everyone welcome again and today I'm going to show you a demo on another project uh, and this project is developed using Java and Hibernate so uh, let's discuss about some technologies that before we start the demo so for the managing front end we are using JSPs and to manage the server side we are using servlets and uh, to manage the back end we are using Hibernate also we are using mysql uh, workbench to operate the all the transaction transactions transactions related to the database so these are the tables and we are using the gui environment uh, to perform add edit delete operations manually or visualize the data <coughs> so now let's run the code and check the demo how the functionality is working there in this have a net project so to run the application or deploy the application we are using top guide for Zenit 1.5 so I just click on the finish and it's going to take a little bit time okay it's stunning so this will be your home page or you can say landing page or welcome page of the application so this is the header part and you can see the body will contain a background image and text here and the footer part <coughs> so under the sign up you will get a registration page for the user so here we can enter we can select the bank and this data is coming from the database uh, from the bank table and so before uh, drive it uh, let's move to the database and understand the root table so here we have a user table that contain the admin and all the other users detail so all the login id mobile id and password and all the details and book the transaction you can check the transaction detail here the fund transfer details here and the bank all the banks are available uh, here and the account balances are will be there so now let's register as a new user and operate it <coughs> so before registration okay so uh, for example as a user i'm going to register as under any bank so i'm going to select a bank like Bank of India and can we click your saving account and the title for now I'm entering the dummy data you can enter your data going to the use so the name the last name login ID for example for this QE 23 and the password is demo at the rate 23 demo at the rate 123 and the email id at the so you can select a date of birth here so i'm going to enter the manually oh, it's not allowing me to enter the manual date so i have to move the year so let's go 2010 To select the year one by one, so it should be 2010. So, for example, I'm going to select a 1991 and this should be June 1, so it's there. Mobile number 10 digit mobile numbers like gender and uh, fax and the nationality. Click the save when I click. Uh, on the save button the user is successfully registered now just move to the database and check the user table and you will get the new record uh, here with the role id 2 and this is your new record you can see here now let's log in with this record and confirm it's registered successfully and login is working fine so just check for the login id so you can see here we have a login id here and just move to the login button and the password so password was demo at the rate 1 to 3 so I'm gonna pass password here and I logged in in the application if I check the balance it shows 0 because it's just new create, newly created account and one transfer if I'm gonna try to submit some amount or transfer some amount showing the insufficient balance because I don't have any balance here and the fund transfer report no record found so this is empty account 
so let's add some balance here from the admin side then we will perform these operations so go to log out and now let's log in as an admin so here we have admin user admin123 and the password is also demo that is 123 okay so admin can perform add user so admin also can add a new user and admin can add a bank so for example i'm gonna add a bank demo oh, testing bank it's testing bank i have c code test one two three four short code as nine so so the bank is saved successfully and now i will check the bank report i can see the bank newly added bank here and if i see the user report just newly added user is there and the account number is auto generated for that user it will show in this list as well as in the database so just check the column account number okay you can see here the data is generated automatic here okay so if you want to view the transaction no transaction available for this user so you can view the transaction according to the user also so let's move to step by step so admin can add a user add a bank and add a book transaction if admin want to transfer some amount to any account he can like for example i'm gonna use this account and i'm gonna use some transfer some amount here so David and transaction amount is like public routing transaction date should be today and save some description and save it did I save successfully now take the one transfer report you can see the transaction is added uh, added here okay <clears throat> so uh, the, from, from the admin side you can perform three main operation add user add bank and add book transactions and now <clears throat> just move to the reporting part so admin can check the list of users and you can edit the records if admin wants admin can view the transaction according to the user like if, if, you, if you want to check the user particular user the transaction of that particular user you can click on this view transaction you will check uh, the data will display here the next thing is bank report so these are the banks available in the database right now and you can edit you can perform the edit operation you can delete it when you want to delete it just select this like this and delete so that it is deleted and you can perform the edit operation next thing is admin can check all the transaction so you can see the newly added transaction is here now let's log in with the same user and transfer some fund to any other user so when i log out and going to log in with this newly added user so now if i check the balance you can see the balance is now five like now i can transfer the fund so now i need to enter the beneficiary accounts so for example i'm gonna use this account or this user so i just enter this account number and enter the transaction amount i'm gonna enter i want to send 1000 and the routing amount click on the save so data is saved successfully here now if i check the fund transfer report i can check it so it's under the processing yet and book transaction this so this is under the processing so when i log in as an admin and i think i need to approve it let me log in as an admin now and okay you can see uh, under the fund transfer report the transaction is come for the admin and it's status is under uh, the processing if admin want to update it you need to update when admin to admin can cancel it or admin can complete it so when you click on the complete and save now 
that amount is reduced that particular amount when thousand amount is reduced from the that user and it will uh, transfer to the new user so I have transferred to this user so just log in with this SD so what is the login ID for this user is SD123 and the password is demo that is 123 so I just log in here and now you can check the balance is 1000 okay nice and login again with the same user and check the balance the 1000 is minus from here so these are the activities that you can perform from this bank management project and the entire backend is managing in the hibernate so now the main thing if you want the source code you can check the link in the description box so you will get the particular link check all the details and price about this and you can contact us you can mail us at jcode1 at gmail.com also you can whatsapp me directly about the detail number so number will display in the corner so you can directly whatsapp me there and you can check it and also will provide the complete configuration at your machine like uh, we'll run the complete project at your machine as shows in the video and, in, and it will work so uh, same as it shows in the video in the demo so if you want the configuration and remote support in the source code please ping our the whatsapp number or you can directly mail me over the jcode one at the, the gmail.com please check the description link for the more detail thank you